Welcome to Switch Comics, my name is Marco. I'm Chris. And today we have another Hot Toy unboxing. We have... Uh, finally here. Obi-Wan Kenobi, is that all it says? Okay. Yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi, I didn't know if it called it like... I could see this being like the general Obi-Wan or something. Yeah. But uh, no, it's just the clone armor. Obi-Wan from Hot Toys. Is the other one the full armor? Is that a Hot Toy or is that a sideshow? I think it's an old sideshow. Yeah, that's it what could I think. be an old Hot Toy. I don't know. Regardless, yeah, even old Hot Toys aren't as good as new Hot Toys. Um, so this is one we've been very excited for. We do have another one, uh, similar... Coming soon. Similar kind of vibe here. Uh, yeah, in the near future will be coming up. So here's the inside art little protector Teasing sleeve. General Grievous. Yeah, and they, they did tease us with General Grievous, which has been announced. He's a die cast. Super excited for that one. Um, he's going to be incredible. But we're not here to talk about Grievous today. So here he is, out of the box. Comes with quite a bit of stuff. I don't know what the difference between the two sabers is. I guess we'll find out here. Uh, one that, has got these... a wire in it, and one doesn't. Oh, that's right, one's electronic. Yeah, I keep forgetting. The, the cable blends into the black background. You don't see it at first glance. But anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of there. And so here he is, out of the box. How's that for an even McGregor face? Does he have an iMovie thing? Did I move? Um, oh, you know, I missed a piece of protective plastic here, too. What's that for? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, it does have the things. I don't know how well you'll be able to see yeah, it. Then, well, when we put him in the OB1 position, we'll be yeah. able to put his eyes right. You can yeah. turn his eyes. Let's see. That should it be is, wired. Yeah, this is wired. So he can, yeah, he's a lot more wired. He can do than, as uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lot more wired than uh, Anakin is, which yeah. is a shame because the Anakin's really good. Uh, it just makes me wish I could put them both in dynamic poses, you know. Well, but you can only really put the Obi Wan in dynamic poses. So pretty solid right off the bat, but he comes with a bunch of cool stuff, and let's see what all that is. So here's his cape, and his cape is uh, magnetic, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... Just kind of slaps on there. Pops on there, which I really like. I like their use of magnets. Mm -hmm. um, allows for, like, just a, a clean... More seamless. Well, because, like, I mean, theoretically, like, maybe somebody does want to post them like that without the cape. It would be crazy. But, yeah. you know, that way you don't have, like, these weird little rivets where, you know, you snap in a cape or something. Yeah. Um, the, and the so... The magnets are actually on the back. Oh, it's on the back. Well, regardless. But, I mean, like, if you were going to put it on yeah. without magnets, uh, that's probably how you do it. Mm -hmm. You know, you snap it on. And uh, this what just allows... you could wear a clone backpack. Or jetpack. Because those are magnetic. Maybe? I don't know. But, uh... But, yeah, I mean, the cape's pretty solid. Again, wired. Um, the wire's not very strong. It's kind of thin in there. So, like, it's not... Not like Moon Knight's cape, which was a very yeah. strong wire. Yeah, you can't get it to, like, do anything crazy, but that's what I'm trying to, like, see, like... The limits of it? Test the limits, yeah. How much can I push it up? That's kind of probably yeah. about it, which is still pretty good, I mean... I mean, it's a cape, you know? Before we go any further, I just want to say I do sell stickers on eBay and whatnot, and I have the links in the description. Uh, so come by, stop by on the uh, whatnot streams. I stream Monday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and then I also, like I said, I mean, on whatnot, whatnot or eBay, you can just buy it anytime. Uh, everybody's going to get one of those if they purchase anything. And I got lots of other things, you know, a bunch of comic stuff as well. But stop by, hang out in the streams, have a good time on the whatnot ones. You know, we do giveaways and stuff on there as well. Uh, let's get back into the hot toy though. All right. So next up we have his lightsaber. And I mean, it is gorgeously crafted looks really solid there is an additional lightsaber now these blades can be swapped out so this is the you know jong, 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 move around lightsaber if you want to make them in more action pose but the hilt so the saber part pops out you can put either one in either one but this hilt it has the electric uh, so you just plug it into it has a little battery box that you hook it up to um, I'm not totally in love with the way that they're setting up they have made improvements because like older ones 
used to have a uh, a lightsaber arm. You had to actually yeah. swap out the arm. If we have the Darth Maul with that, it's not great. Yeah, so the the wire would run through there, and then it would have the issue like when it bends, um, it would have damage in in the wire and stuff like that. And um, they've made some improvements. I still don't think this is finally it. My main issue, and I, I think it's a simple issue, is because this plugs into a box. And then if they have, like, for example, Darth Vader, he has lights on his chest and stuff like that. So all those cables uh, run wires into this box. And that box has to be plugged into a USB thing. I wish it was, like, a rechargeable thing you could plug it into uh, would be a lot better. Um, especially, like, I mean, there's enough room. They could have made a bigger one for Vader at least. Um and I think that's even something that they can go back and retroactively just be like, hey, look, we, you know, we've made these boxes now. They're compatible with all the cables. You just have to, you know, get this little box later on. I, w I would like something like that later in the future. And I'd be more enticed to actually give them the electronic lightsabers. Uh, but we do have some other hands to show you. So which one was on here already? Uh, that this one, one? Hand, yeah. So Chris already swapped out a hand. So this is the one hand that was already on him. Um, and then we have a, a lightsaber holding hand, and then we have a good force hand, focus, there you go, and then we have another lightsaber holding hand, but the other hand, I gotta start with the, the back side of the arm, oh, I was gonna say because it focuses easier, yeah, there we go, now Chris went ahead and put on, you kind of got to... Well, I mean, that's the Obi-Wan hand, you know. Yeah, it's not in the exact pose. I put no, him in, not a, yet. in a bit of, like, he's doing, like, the peace Yeah, sign. he's, right now he's doing, uh, I don't know, peace and justice, you know, like. No, that's, um, Trigon, love and peace. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's, I had the right thing in my, I'm, my brain is a little foggy right now. I think I'm actually a little sick, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, I've been sneezing my head off. It's been awful. Um, it is. Uh, but anyway, so he does come with the helmet, which... I guess that piece does swap off because that one doesn't have it in there. Mm -hmm. Or it is supposed to pop off that way. But anyway, he comes with the helmet, uh, which is cool. Yeah. Um, but I think if you're ever going to pose him, it is just Can holding, I take the visor off? holding the helmet. Curious. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, you can't. So you can wear the helmet, and I think that looks all right. It'd be better the, if he was full armor. The only way I'd put him on the hel put the helmet on him, is if he had a speeder. Because didn't he have it on when he was on the speeder? And a lance. Well, yeah, with well, a lance, obviously too. Um, um, and if he was full, if you no, not even the speeder. If he was just full armor, Obi Wan with a lance. Huh? With a lance. With a lance, he'd have the helmet. Yeah. Hundred percent. What if, what if they gave this one, a speeder and a lance? Would you still maybe put the helmet on? Mm, I consider it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was kind of my point. But anyway, let's see. What else we got in here? I think not too much left. This kind of looks like a game controller. <laughs> <laughs> but these are binoculars. Very, very small accessory. And the Anakin hologram. It's very fun that it's also Clone Wars Anakin with the cape. Yeah. So yeah, a little hollow uh, Anakin there. I think that's it. I'll show off the base. I guess. I mean, just the regular standard. standard base. Yeah. Okay. And then he also... I'm not even going to bother unwrapping this one, but it does come with the standard Black or Not Black Series. The <laughs> Star Wars... <laughs> Hot Toys. Hot Toys uh, base, which is uh, fine, but uh, we've started putting ours in these acrylic cases, and uh, we haven't been using the bases, because some of them... Obi-Wan would probably be fine. What would get clunky is because we try to put two people McClunky? in those cases. What would get McClunky is we try to put uh, two people in in a case, and the the bases would definitely get in the way of that. We could maybe make it work, but it would be kind of awkward. But then certain characters are pretty tall, like Vader, and I don't think he would fit in there with the stand. So definitely we definitely not a General Grievous if we ever got one. He might not fit in there anyway. He he might have, over. Yeah, super hunched over, maybe, maybe, and he'll His be hand taking going up the like whole this, case. Like his coffin. Yeah. <laughs> um, then put a bunch of effects over that, and it sounds like okay. But um, give me a grabby hand. Grabby hand. He's reaching the uh, grab. right. That, grabby hand. Um, that is left. Oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. I had to spin it around. <laughs> you pick up a hand like this, and it's just like I don't know what I'm looking at. 
So by standard, his eyes are facing forward, but we're going to put him in the classic Obi-Wan pose, which means we have to tilt the eyes. Alright, so this is Obi-Wan fully posed up. He does have some issues, mainly anytime you have this kind of armor. So on his actual pose, it should be like pretty uh, closed in at the elbow and the lightsaber pretty close to his head. But that's pretty dang good. Again, I do wish... I wish the wire and the cape had a little bit more strength to it um, because like for example if I wanted to make it like that um, it just doesn't have the strength to hold it up there so you know you can do some decent curls midway through the cape but up at the, the top it just does not have the strength um, to actually hold anything up there but that being said I mean it's pretty solid the wires in um, his skirt are really good. You can make some pretty precise little bins and stuff um, that I think end up looking really good. Those are, don't have to hold up as much cloth, so... True. Uh, you can see his eyes there. We adjusted those. Um, and again, I think that looks pretty solid. He's, po used for <laughs> He's poking out your eyes. <laughs> is looking at him. And... Uh, yeah, he's going to look really, really solid in the case. Yeah. He's going to be with our Anakin. Uh, like I said, we do have another one, another hot toy coming up soon. It is uh, similar. Uh, in the, is, is this one? I don't want to give away too many hints, but we got, uh, we got something coming up that will be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how long it will be. Maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a week, something like that. You can almost kind of trick the cape into you yeah. know, being taller by like doing something like that that's pretty cool yeah. we, and you know we might play around with a little bit we also do got to see how much space we have to work with in the case because yeah. the if it's, cape might just kind of you know go back to yeah. being a little lower that's not exactly how it was but you know what i mean we'll play around with it I, yeah. i'm pretty happy with how it's posed though um we're not going to put them in the case yet because it's what? it's really late right now um, so we're actually going to do that another time, but I'll post pictures and put them on Instagram, uh, kind of do a refresher of all the hot toys we have, I see what he all the Star Wars the ones anyway. Helmet on. Yeah, I guess we can show that off real quick. So there he is with the helmet on. I mean, again, it's pretty, pretty cool. Sweet. It's but a cool helmet. if you had to choose one, at least for us, we're going to go with the Ian McGregor head. Uh, but it is a solid helmet and I, I am glad that he, he comes with it. It's one of those things. I don't know. For for me, if you get an Obi well, that's the thing though. If you get an Obi Wan, like he's got to be in the Obi Wan pose, right? Yeah. But what's cool is like so. For example, if you got like a just a regular like Episode Three Obi Wan, you'd probably put him in the pose, and then maybe that would give you the opportunity to have him holding his helmet or something. Yeah. Which would be cool. So it depends. I know a lot of people. Um, might not be getting too many of the same character, but like there, there's an idea there of like where the helmet I think uh, definitely would come in. So for at least for now, we're gonna pose him with his regular head uh, in the Obi Wan pose. But yeah, uh, let me know. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird kind of different connector, but it, it's a good one. It's just one I'm not familiar with. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think about uh, about, the, about this one. And, uh, you know, we love our Star Wars Hot Toys. Uh, we're not going to stop. Uh, we are heavy deep into the Star Wars Hot Toys, and they got some bangers coming up. We can't be stopped. In the next year. Uh, I mean, even, you know, some sooner than that. But uh, there's crazy stuff on the horizon. And I can't wait to see what they come out with next. Like, mm -hmm. they, they do Star Wars so well. And um, it makes me very happy. It'd be really good if they had a dirge. I mean, I don't know. At this point, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised by anything they put out. They could put out... Get us a teen for our Obi-Wan! They could give us an effing mon. I'd be like, <laughs> that sounds about right, you know? There was that cantina, like, whole scene they were doing. They were a ton of people in the cantina. Yeah, yeah. Just um, background people. Which is really red. I yeah, mean, I'm not going to get all that stuff, obviously. I'm not a little shade. Do a little better in Black Series. A lot better, I'd say. A lot better. Um, I, I'm i super excited for, you know, even the Star Wars ones that come out that I'm not going to get. I still think it's really cool. 
And, you know, it's, it's one of those things, it might not be for me, but I'm sure somebody else will grab it and think it's really awesome. Um, there's way too many to get all of them, obviously. But I like having the options and being able to get into specific niches that different people like it. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure some people will be really excited about the Cantina stuff. Where we're more so, like, Clone Wars is our big thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think, other than the ones we've already got, I can't think of us... For venturing out of Clone Wars too often. Yeah. Well, well so like they do okay, have. There's actually. They have Revan coming up. Revan. They have uh, Star Killer. Star Killer. Uh, Sith Star Killer. Um, well, there was another one. What else do they have? I don't know. I'm trying to think if of the other ones. Malgus, we'd probably get it. Yeah, I'd probably get Malgus. Um, Malik? I don't think I so. I wouldn't get Malik. No. But still a Sean. Uh, maybe. I might. I'm a sucker for gold lightsabers. Uh, if they ever made like a Shea Vizsla. 100% mm -hmm. of Roland Dyer. Uh, if you get into, like, some obscure Mandalorians... Uh, HK Assassin Droid? Well, you get all droids. Um, uh, what's his name? Montross. Montross. Uh, Montros, whatever. Uh, Jaster Marill. Any of those would be super sick. Jango Fett. Well, they make Jango Fett. A uh, new one? He's fairly new, yeah. Oh, is he part, he must, is he part of the anniversary episode 2 stuff? Well, I mean... We've had him at the shop several times. He's a newish kind of one. Hmm. He's not. I've th I've thought about getting him before. And Django's cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't know uh, the, the idea of like I said, like Roland Dyer or Shea Vizsla or something would be like that super cool. Um, I I've always kind of liked some of the more obscure characters, um, mainstream Clone stuff. Wars band would be dope. Yeah, I nearly got the uh, the sideshow one. Um, he's he is nice, but well, sideshows just aren't as good. Yeah, sideshows not as nice as, as hot toys. Um, I'm trying to think. But the big hat and everything. Super. Uh, don't get me wrong. Also, the the book of Boba Fett, Cad Bane, hot toy is it's really really, cool. really nice. Honestly, probably if I had it's to. It's really tall too. If I had to like scale all the or like more so tier. All the hot toys we have on quality, not just like, you know, for example, I love Boba Fett, so that would place yeah. him higher, you know. Um, Vader's probably up. He's got to be like... I, I was going to say Cad Bane and, and Finnick Shan are probably two of my favorite as far as quality goes. Um, I think their soft goods are just incredible. See, that's what I think about Vader. Vader is also really nice. He comes with a ton of stuff, so I think I would... Uh, that would factor in as additional points and stuff as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Now we're kind of just at the, the rambling stage. Which is the best part of Talking video. about all kinds of... This is what the people are here for. Uh, I'm trying to think... Don't look at those pops behind me. There's a bunch I of don't them. think there's anybody I'm disappointed in. Because Hot Toys are just great. Yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> the only one I'm disappointed in isn't a hot toy. It's a sideshow, and it's my General Grievous. Well, he's he's, he's gonna be outdated a hot toy, now, and he's gonna be great. He's gonna be replaced. Yeah, I should probably sell my Grievous now. Probably, yeah. Um, I was trying to think of what else we have coming up. We have the ATRT coming up. That's Clone Wars. Um, Venom, not Star Wars. Oh well, yeah, I was just thinking Star Wars stuff. But um, we also have uh, Droidica. Droidica, Echo and Fives, um, Tech, Tech, which is kind of you know Clone. Wars. I know it's Bad Batch, but it yeah. it started in Clone Wars, so you know still counts. Um, so mainly Clone Wars is is what we collect, and technically uh, it's all season one stuff. So um, Droidicas did appear in season one. The Bad Batch season one. Oh, uh, that's what I was saying. They so did like, appear in Bad Batch season one. It, it'd be one thing if like the Bad Batch did were, they? you know, like their no paint version or something. Then that I would feel like that's less connected to Clone Wars, even though kind of still. But these, you can look at these and be like, oh yeah, season seven Clone Wars. You know. Did they? I don't think they appeared in season one. I think they appeared in season. Jordicas? two. I know they appeared in season two. I don't remember. I don't remember them appearing at all. I'm, I'm not saying they didn't. I'm the Cody episode. Okay. I mean, I, I just, I don't know. Until they fought droids again. Yeah. Yeah. I love droids. Mm-hmm. I miss, I, I love that 
they still find time to sprinkle them in mm -hmm. somewhere whenever they can. I learned there is a droid in Star Wars Resistance, and it's uh, it's B one. That's kind of all I need to know. Yeah. I think that's all we have though for today. Thank you for listening to our rambles, checking out our very very sweet Obi Wan hot toy. Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, we actually might have some other hot toys coming up soon. At least one for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe within a week of this being uploaded, potentially. Probably a week or so, um, and then another one coming. I think very soon as well. Like maybe even within a week. Uh, that one I will say. Like I said, I don't know about that one, um, but um, that one is not Star Wars. So we're gonna have. We're not always Star Wars. Star Wars. We we're like just ninety nine percent Star Wars. Um, but that's thank you all. How we? That's not how we are with comics. We're more Marvel than we are Star Wars. But like, with yeah. what we're into generally. Yeah. Well, that's the thing though. Like, Star Wars didn't start as a comic, you know. So it's not like. It don't you know? It's got a lot but of. But Star Wars comics it. are good. Read them. Yeah, but it's like, if I want to like enjoy Marvel stuff, I feel like, I don't know. There's a lot more, especially like new stuff. Anyway, like there's a lot more Marvel comics, obviously, than Star Wars comics. Even though right now with High Republic and stuff, there is quite a bit. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't really know the point I was making exactly with that, but. I don't know, Marvel to me feels more at home in comics than Star Wars does. Like, if I'm really wanting to do something Star Wars, I feel like watching is we like... We were this close to saying goodbye, by the way. I know. Watching <laughs> is like the... You, this is your fault. Um, <laughs> watching is like the premiere experience for Star Wars, in yeah. my opinion. Um, and with that being said, the, we're, you're no longer going to be watching this. Uh, goodbye. Have a good one, everybody.